subscribe and tap on that bell icon to never miss an update from the Indian Travel Diaries. Mumbai, the city of dreams and Arijit's childhood place, the city he was brought up in. I had heard many tales about this beautiful city from him. He always said that someday we are going to go there and he's gonna live a day from his childhood. The opportunity arrived while we were on our way to Goa and we had a 15 hour layover in the city. After keeping our luggage in the airport cloakroom, we headed straight to the Gateway of India. are called Elephanta Caves as the Portuguese had named them so when they saw huge elephant monolithic sculptures on this island. Those sculptures have been moved from the island and now can be seen at Jijamata Udyan in Mumbai. As I earlier mentioned, the origin of the caves are unknown. The statues are defaced and damaged. Some theories say that the Portuguese damaged them, while some theories blame the Muslim and the Maratha rulers. The earliest attempts to prevent further damage to the caves were started by the British India officials in 1909. 
1987, the caves were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is currently maintained by the Archaeological Survey of India. The statues are huge but highly proportionate. They show an extremely high level of human sculptural skills. The caves have statues of various Hindu gods and the most prominent ones are of Lord Shiva. There are a total of seven caves of which the first cave, also known as the Grand Cave, is the most intact one. The other caves do not have much to offer. There is also an old cannon on display. You can reach there after hiking for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you are in Mumbai for a day, the Elephanta Caves are highly recommendable. Do watch our Goa series to plan up your holiday. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye-bye.